We can name polymers driven from the place of origin that my uh, polymer was driven from, such as uh, rubber. Rubber is actually named after the uh, laboratory rubber, uh, which is the source or the natural source of uh, rubber. Uh, we can also name uh, polymers according to, to their discoverer. Uh, similar to that, Bakelite was named uh, after the discoverer, Liu Backlund, who discovered the formula of uh, uh, Bakelite. We, uh, the third method of naming polymers is according to the number of carbons, uh, such as in nylon. Usually nylon is named uh, according to the number of carbons in pores, diamine and the carboxylic acid. So if I said the nylon uh, six, uh, six, this means I have six carbon atoms uh, in my diamine uh, part and six uh, uh, carbon atoms in my carboxylic acid. We also can name our polymers uh, from the source-based name. We will see how we can name them. Usually, it is similar to the common names or uh, the monomer preceded by the prefix poly. Uh, or the structure-based name, uh, according to IAPAC, uh, linkage-based names, uh, similar to that, uh, like as in uh, polycarbonate and polyesters. Now, let's focus on the uh, source-based names, um, common names of uh, some monomers. We will proceed them by the prefix poly. So if I started with something like uh, estyrene, so now I have uh, one uh, phenyl ethene. This one phenyl ethene, the common name is styrene. This is why when I uh, form the polymer from styrene, I will just um, proceed it by the word poly uh, and name my polymer according to that. So I have polystyrene from styrene. Now, if I started for, uh, from monomer such as methyl methacrylate, I would name my uh, polymer to be polymethyl methacrylate. So this is the methyl methacrylate and this is the uh, polyform of my uh, polymer. Now, uh, for ethylene, we usually name, uh, put the word poly as well, so polyethylene. Now, for polyvinyl chloride, it is for, and from the vinyl chloride, and from here you could see that the vinyl chloride, we break the bond, the double bond, and we form our polyvinyl uh, chloride. So now for naming uh, uh, on the source-based uh, polymer bases, now if I have copolymer instead of uh, uh, just uh, one uh, type of monomer, uh, such as uh, polystyrene or polyvinyl alcohol, uh, polyvinyl chloride, now I have two or more monomers. Uh, this is when I start to name my polymer by uh, adding uh, the uh, first monomer, then I will put like a uh, linkage between both of them, uh, uh, dash, co, dash, then I would name my second polymer. Uh, so if I have a copolymer of uh, polystyrene with uh, methyl uh, methacrylate, I would just name my polymer poly, then styrene, I would put dash co dash methyl methacrylate. Uh, uh, um, sometimes we just present it as well as uh, the number of monomers of each one of them uh, link it to the other monomer. So if I have uh, I have here uh, this example of the uh, copolymer that I have here one two three four five I have five of my A, link it to 5 of B, then another 5 of A, and this will be just a continuing uh, linkage of uh, 5 monomers together from uh, A, which is the uh, in that case will be the styrene, link it to 5 of the methyl methacrylate, then another methyl, uh, uh, another uh, 5 uh, monomers of this styrene, which just link it together, uh, then another uh, 5 methyl methacrylate. So it's just a series of uh, 5 A, 5 B. If I wrote something like 2 a co b b this means i have two of a monomer and two of b uh, 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 monomer as well so according to the number of monomers i just can name them and to indicate that my copolymer is a mix of how many monomers of a and how many monomers of b for the structure-based polymers, it will be based on the IPAC naming system, and the IPAC naming system is actually based on the uh, naming uh, the uh, polymers according to their scientific names or systematic scientific name. In that case, polystyrene, the scientific name is uh, the word uh, styrene, the, uh, uh, the IPAC name of styrene is one phenyl styrene. This is why the uh, structure-based polymer naming would be driven from this word by adding a 
poly at the beginning and now I have poly 1 phenyl uh, ethylene. Now for methyl bisacrylate, the scientific name is uh, for the monomer is 1 methoxy carbonyl 1 methyl ethylene. This is why when we, do, uh, uh, when we form the monomer, uh, we will just add the uh, prefix poly at the beginning of my naming and my polymer, um, methyl bisacrylate, uh, another way of the structure naming would be poly 1 methoxy uh, carbonyl 1 methyl uh, ethylene. Now the last uh, way of naming polymers will be according to the linkage based name. The uh, linkage that uh, link my monomers to form the polymers, I would name my polymer according to that. So it will be just like the family name of my polymers. It doesn't give me indication of which polymer, uh, which monomer I'm deriving my uh, polymer from. Uh, it will identify the linkage between my monomers. So in, if I have a linkage which is the, the amide bond in the that case I would name my polymer to be uh, uh, polyamide or uh, belongs to the family of the polyamides if I have ester uh, bond in that case I will have polyester uh, um, uh, polymer which uh, belongs to the family of the polyesters now if I have uh, polyurethane uh, bond this means uh, or linkage between my monomers this means my polymer belongs to the family of the polyurethane and so on by that we came to the end of uh, uh, polymer nomenclature until next video thank you goodbye